I think I'm gaining confidence in a particular knot. That's impressive. Okay, so you guys have been following my knot tying videos, teaching you how to tie different knots. In this video, we're gonna put them to the test. As you're learning how to tie knots and getting confidence in them, here's something that I highly recommend. Get you some good heavy leather gloves, something so you're not gonna cut yourself. When you're practicing knots, test, test the strength of them, and you can really uh, gain a lot of confidence. So you're gonna find out if, uh, if your line is breaking before your knot, or if you're splicing lines together. It's a great way to test. And if, you're, if it doesn't break it, you're not, you know you're doing something right. So, All right, so here's the loop knot. One, two, three. I'm gonna run it through my little loop and the big loop at the same time. Cinch that down, and we've created the loop knot. Tag, cut our tag off of here. This will let me know how strong these knots are. And as you can see, that broke at the knot, but it took a lot of strength for it to break at the knot. So here, let's do another one. We'll do the clinch knot. One, two, three, four, five, six. So just doing this no different than if I was fishing with them. Now this one, I got my little tag there. I would suspect if it does anything, it might slip and pull, pull the knot apart. So let's see what it does. See, that's exactly what happened. It slipped and actually pulled through. Not necessarily why I'm a huge fan of that, but now let's tie the improved clinch knot and see what happens. Through there, there's my clinch knot, but we're gonna go improved clinch knot. Run that back through here. Cinch that down. So there's my improved clinch knot. So let's see uh, what this thing does now. Gotta have a pair of leather gloves for this because uh, you can cut yourself or hurt yourself. Uh, you know, you can tie it, but this is the best way, so. See, so it still slipped. Let's try a uni knot now. Let's see what the strength of the uni knot is. Four, five, six. I'm putting way more pull on this with my big burly arms than I ever would probably fishing, but it just, it gives you a better knowledge of uh, what this would actually be in the real world. So let's see what the uni knot does now. As you can see guys, it's not slipping. It slipped eventually, but uh, it took a whole lot of uh, extra effort there. This is 65 pound braid. That took a whole, whole lot of effort for me to, uh, to do that. So now, Let's take and tie a polymer knot just to see. So what you're seeing, all those knots were basically, my line was through the, the eye one time, but the difference with the polymer knot, it's doubled. So, you know, that's the one thing too about the polymer knot, when you're first learning it, it's much easier to practice it on a small bait, the, the bigger and the longer the bait gets, you get a big jerk bait with nine hooks hanging off of it, it gets a little more complicated to tie. Tie the polymer knot. Let's see what it does. 65 pound braid. Let's see what we can do here. Sixty-five pound braid. You can see I'm put. I'm really have to work because you got two two lines going through the eye of that hook. Now look at that. Here's the big difference. I didn't realize I was that strong. I just broke sixty-five pound braid, but the knot didn't slip. It still it still broke at the knot, but it did not slip like those previous knots did. So 
you saw I had to work a lot harder to break that or to get the knot to fail, but it didn't fail, it just broke. So that just shows you right there that the polymer knot is a, is a much stronger knot. Now, since we're on this, I'm gonna tie the double uni knot or improved uni knot, I guess we would call it. We're gonna tie it where we double it over, run it through. So it's doubled through the eye of my hook. And then I'm gonna tie a uni knot with the two lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just six for consistency. Cinch that down. So that's one thing too, I will say this, when I'm tying stuff on, on heavy braids, so if I'm heavy flipping, you know, flipping mats or, or something like that, glo leather gloves are really good at cinching knots down because you know, you'd rather, much rather have them fail the night before when you're rigging than in the moment of truth. So uh, let's get all that cinched down there good. So we got our three tag ends there. Let's see how strong this one is. Okay. Gotta get a good grip, there we go. I think I'm gaining confidence in a particular knot. Wow. The new improved uni knot or double uni knot might be my new favorite. <clears throat> so yes, I, you know, something to think about here. I'm putting way more pressure than any bass ever would, but even, even for my confidence in saltwater fishing, I think I just discovered something here. So let's see if I can break this. So this is 65 pound braid. Oh my gosh. That is unbelievable. I can't break it guys. There you go guys, that's 65 pound Cast King Cast Pro braid. And as much as I love the, the uh, polymer knot, I'm still gonna tie it. Right there, I think that's a perfect testament of uh, just from a knot strength, which one's the, the, the strongest, because uh, I think I just cut all the circulation off in my right hand here. <laughs> you can see I was putting a lot of pressure on that, and that knot did not fail. So, uh, you know, you can see I was putting a lot of pressure on that. I couldn't break that. Where the other knots, I was able to break them. So, uh, as far as winning an award goes, I think the improved uni or double uni knot uh, wins the award. That hurt. Out of my not so scientific testing there, you can see by far the strongest knot that, that I know how to tie is this improved uni knot or three tag. That's impressive. <laughs>